Hi, I'm Angie. Today I'm going to share a recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite pound cake. This is a recipe from Gourmet Magazine and it's not for the faint of heart. There are really rich ingredients including a half pound of butter and seven large eggs plus a cup of heavy cream. So if you really want to indulge and try the most delicious pound cake you ever had, you can try this recipe. Let's get started. Okay, this recipe is really unique in that you do not preheat the oven before you start. So you want to make sure that your rack is in the middle of the oven and you've greased and floured a 10 inch tube pan or a bundt pan. For the dry ingredients, I'm going to sift together three cups of cake and pastry flour. And I've already sifted this twice already, so I'm going to do it one more time and add in the salt. So there's the three cups of cake and pastry flour that's already been sifted twice. And I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just putting those through the sieve. The combination of this cake flour and the heavy cream that's going to give a beautiful texture to your pound cake. There we go. I'll just set that aside. You can see how light it is. Okay, now in the bowl of my heavy duty mixer using the paddle attachment. You can also do this with a hand mixer as well, but it makes it really easy in this. I'm going to combine my two sticks of softened unsalted butter. That's half a pound or one cup of butter. I'm just going to cream that first. Now I'm going to add in three cups of granulated sugar. I'm going to cream that together for a full five minutes with this mixer. If you're using a hand mixer, you could go six to eight minutes. You want it nice and fluffy. Okay, it's been a full five minutes and that certainly is creamy. Now I'm going to blend in seven whole eggs, one at a time, beating really well after each one. Now I'm going to add in two teaspoons of the best quality pure vanilla extract. Since this is such a plain cake, you really want to use the finest ingredients. Just mix that in. Now I'm going to add in half of the flour that we already sifted and combined with the salt. And just mix that in. And now I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream all at once and just gently mix that in. And now I'm just going to add in the rest of the flour and just mix that in. Now I'm just going to scrape down the side of the bowl and I'm going to beat this at medium high speed for another full five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. You can see the batter is really creamy and satiny. Now I'm just going to spoon that into the prepared pan. So once this is in the pan, I'm going to put it on that middle rack in the oven and bake at 350 for an hour or an hour and 15 minutes. And you want to put a tester in it and you just want that to come out with just a few crumbs on it. Okay, I've got the batter in there. Now, just before I pop it in the oven, I'm just going to slam it down on the counter twice. That just removes any air bubbles. And now I'll put it in the cold oven and bake it at 350 for an hour, hour and 15 minutes until the tester comes out with just a couple crumbs on it. I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, it's been about an hour and the cake has tested done. When you insert a toothpick, just a few little crumbs cling to it. Now, one thing I did notice in the recipe is that when you put it into a cold oven, most of the ovens today have a preheat feature and it starts to get golden on top very quickly. Just put a piece of foil on top of the rack so that the upper element doesn't burn the cake and it seemed to turn out fine. This golden color is perfect. So you want to let it sit in the pan for a good 30 minutes before running a knife around the edges and turning it out. But that's it and it smells delicious and the reviews have just been fantastic on this. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll try Elvis Presley's favorite pound cake.